here we go again with another review guys and we will be reviewing my XDM okay man, man what it suck to live here wasn't it that is just garbage California <laughs> alright guys well let's go ahead and start with the review and the reason why this thing's not legal in California is because the the mag capacity 19 rounds of my XDM so it's pretty nice. I love that about nine millimeters. My, my buddies, they're all 45 guys, and me personally, I'm a nine millimeter guy. A, eh? um, I feel me personally, I feel more confident in in shot placement with my nine millimeter. I can control the recoil more, and you guys can say whatever you want to say about it. But for me, that's what uh, works for me. So that's what I decided to go with. Um, this is uh, not my first 9mm. Uh, I ended up, my first 9mm was, uh, I think it was a SIG Pro. Um, but I had a SIG 229, a big SIG guy. Um, and actually, I only have a, a SIG 522. But, anyways, um, back to the XDM. Uh, this is the case here that you get when you open it up. This is what you will see. Okay. Uh, there it is. Okay. You get all those features, and then you get the M factor. All right. Um, and what is the M factor? Let's, let's talk about this. Okay. What is the M factor? That's what it says right there. Um, it's it's. I'm gonna read this. It's it's more than a new set of features. It's about raising your expectations of what a polymer pistol should be. It's about creating the new standard. Um, so it's got mega grasp slide serrations, deeper, longer, and more slide serrations equals a better, more penetrating grasp. Mega lock grip texture, minimal reset trigger, minimal error disassembly lever. Magazine, that's what and that's what it says. It says magazine right there instead of magazine. Um, the XDM is the largest capacity pro production polymer pistol in both the 40 caliber and 9 millimeter, respectively. It accommodates 16 plus 1 and 19 plus 1 rounds, and that's what this has, 19 plus 1, which is pretty awesome. Uh, mold through back straps, so changeable back straps. Uh, main focus sights, which are pretty cool. Um, the model con contour frame, match grade barrel, melanite finish, maximum re reach mag release. Multi-use carrying case. Ooh, the M factor even goes into the carrying case. It's multi-use, um, and um, let's see here. Multi-adjustment rail system. So that's what all this has on there. Okay, so that is for the M factor. All right, so let's put that away. Let's go to the some of the things that you get. All right, in the case, uh, you guys will get this. This is so nice. Look at this, man. That fits like a glove, like it was made for it. Because it was. Okay. Um, so you get this. Um, you're not going to, more than likely, you probably won't use this. So it's something that they put in the case that they give you. And then you get your, your mag carriers. Put that in there. Wow, oh, they're really tight. But it is adjustable. And it's an Allen head at that, so it's not like, you know, uh, it's not even a Phillips. Yeah, so. There. Mag curves. You won't be using these either. Yeah, it's tight. Okay, so we got, so we got this and this you won't be using. This you may use, you know, to help you load the rounds up. Um, and then it's even got this thing here where you can actually load it. Uh, you can put this on your rail if you really wanted to. I don't know why, but you could actually put this on your rail. Look at that. You can put that on your rail. Say, hey, man, when I'm out, I can reload. <laughs> uh, so there's that. Um, but I guess uh, what they were mainly trying to do is you could put it on your mag carrier, I guess, maybe. And you could put that on there you, can, you know there's a little rail here too on the mag carrier okay so there's that changeable back straps cleaning kit or oh, not changeable back straps these are for the extended grip magazines I'm sorry uh, 
These are the changeable back straps. You get three of them. I guess a small, a medium, and a large. Right, I think I got whatever came on. I think it's the medium. Um, and you get one stainless steel 13 round mag. This one will sit flush, okay? And then you will get one high capacity mag, 19 rounds. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, so, and this is the pistol. All right, this is the pistol. Really nice ergonomics. I mean, it's just really, when it comes down to the XDM, this is a sexy 9mm. All right, Basic, I mean, this thing is awesome looking to look at. Uh, it's definitely going to catch your attention the way it looks. Um, it really is a sexy pistol. Um, and I'll do a safety check. There's nothing in it. Nothing in it. No, nothing in the in the mag holder or the magazine thing. You know, nothing in there. So it's it's a safe one. Um, but here we go. I'll go ahead and start like this. There's that. There's the sight picture. There's the sight picture. Okay, and we'll go to this side now. And it's got the the match grade barrel. That's pretty cool. Look at the sights here. See how they're angled? I don't know if I really like that because if you ever had to like rack the slide with one hand, it would like to me that gives it the option to to slip off easier. You know. I think I wish it would have been a little bit nicer if they would have had something to catch it more, but you know, whatever. Uh, but the sights are nice. I, uh, it's got a good sight picture. Um, so here we go. We got the grip safety here. Okay. Um, we got uh, the load round indicator here. All right. See, it's up right there. All right. So that comes up if you got one in the chamber. Um, the one advantage that I see huge over the G19 um, for the XDM is definitely the load round indicator. The G19 has nothing like that. Um, and uh, back here. See, there's nothing there. I'm going to rack the slide. And I see that there. And I'm going to pull the trigger. Okay? So that basically lets you know if, you have, if you've racked the slide. Okay? If the, if the hammer's ready to go. Alright? Um, so that's definitely a good indicator because, like, if you were to ever, you know, all you would have to do is put your thumb back here and you could feel that. So definitely advantage um, Springfield on this weapon here versus the G19. Um, Ergonomics is really great. It's got the, the gripping here, the M factor gripping, you know. Definitely very aggressive. Um, the serrations on the slide are awesome. Not only do they look sexy, but they're definitely functional. You know, give you a little bit more grip if you had to rack the slide. Uh, so I definitely like that. A good sight picture on, on, on the sights there. Okay. So I definitely have to agree that I like that. Um, and that's about it. You know, like, again, if you guys were to purchase one of these, the XDM 9mm, get the compact, all right? Um, I wouldn't suggest getting their full size because basically you're losing a feature. You're losing this right there, all right? See how short that is? Okay, basically two for concealed carry, easier to conceal, okay? You are losing this, but you can get a pierce grip extension if you, if you really wanted to, all right? Um, the only thing that that why I say that because if you wanted the full grip, boom, put the 19 round in. All right, there you go. So basically, with this pistol, with the compact version, you are getting the benefits of both. All right. So, in my opinion, go with the compact version. If you really wanted that full grip, you just put the extended, the uh, the 19 round plus the grip extension. Bam, you got you know what you wanted. But if you wanted to conceal a little bit easier, bam, you put that in. So, why wouldn't you get this one? You know. Um, but again, it's, it's your pistol, your money, you do what you want. Um, but that's what I would do. Um, as far as taking it down, real easy. You rack the slide. This right here goes up like that. Release the slide, comes off. All right, so there's the inside of the XDM. There's that. Here's the inside of the slide here. Back to front. It's got the du dual spring, right? It's got the dual spring, like the Gen 4s do. Okay, so there's that. Um, the only thing I've done on this pistol is, again, the sights are, are original, right? Whatever came on there, um, they were just the white dot. Oh, I messed up. Okay. 
The only thing that I've done is is uh, is that I, I did this. I saw this on eBay. I saw a couple of videos on it. Glow on, all right? And this is the, the green. I would recommend getting the original. The original is the brightest, and it looks white whenever you put it in. So, um, you know, this is the green one. I would go with the original. So trust me on this, guys. Um, but this is um, inside here is the original. See how it still looks white? You guys probably would have never been able to tell, but there is glow on in there, all right? And what I'm going to do is I got this flashlight here, all right? A little flashlight goes on there like that, all right? Here it is. See how bright that is? The strobe feature on it, too. So pretty nice. Um, this is the Nebo. Nebo, I got it from Amazon. Nebo HP 190, 190 lumens. Um, it is a great light. I actually have it uh, on another pistol. I liked it so much. I, I, I think I got my first one from Walmart for $39. Um, and then I liked it so much, I saw one on Slick Guns for, uh, at Amazon for $30 with free shipping. So I ordered another one. Great weapon light. Uh, really, really like it. Um, so this is on my pistol um, for nighttime. And uh, I definitely recommend getting a weapon light. Bam. Real easy to operate here. Just see these little things here. Mm -hmm. Out, in, out, in. So that's how you turn on the strobe. So one, push out, and then basically on your other side, you push it back in, and then you get your strobe. All right, so there's that. But back to the sights of the glow on, okay? So what you're gonna see is I'm gonna charge. All right, you guys saw how it was before. Charge it. And do you see that? Look at that. And you see how bright it is. I'm going to turn the lights off real quick so you guys can see how bright it is. See that? I'm trying to hold this thing here for you. But there it is. And to show you that this is the XDM still. XDM it is how bright that is you know that's that's pretty good and I think it cost me about 10 bucks to do it and I pretty much have done that to all of my pistols guys um, so I would recommend that the glow on that's the only thing I've really done to this pistol I haven't done anything else and as far as if you were to charge it um, you know, just for a few seconds, like 10 seconds, it's going to last more than you think as far as like how bright it is. Uh, and the video camera probably doesn't pick it up as good, but I mean, it's it's still pretty bright right now. And it would last long enough uh, for a situation, you know, whatever. But my opinion for 10 bucks, I'll do it versus spending $100 because I've seen my brother. Um, he's got a G19 and he, he bought some, I mean, I forgot the name of them. I know they're not Trigicons, but they're the one that's right next to them. And it was like a little over $100, and he pulled it out, and he was under his bed or whatever, and and we went ahead and turned the lights off, and there was nothing. He still had to charge charge them with a flashlight. Um, and he has a SIG that's got the Trigicons on there, too. And, it, yeah, you could see them without charging them all that much, but, I mean, it was really hard to see. So he had to charge those with a flashlight as well. So for, like, 10 bucks, this is the way to go for me. Um, only thing that I've done is I've gotten into Kydex here lately and I made me a holster this slips into your belt okay, uh, for my XDM so what's better than having the 19 rounds <laughs> another 19 rounds on your hip okay so this is for my XDM let me see the clip there so I got this and I bought this for my XDM too from Fox Holsters um, it's a hybrid holster um, inside the waistband and how it fits here. The retention on it is pretty good. There, it fell out there. So, but this is uh, what I carry my XDM in right here, guys. And it's really comfortable. Really, really comfortable. It's got the leather here. 
uh, really comfortable uh, holster. I would recommend it. I got this also off eBay. Okay, um, I want to say it was only like 35, 40 bucks with free shipping, um, and I strongly recommend Fox holsters uh, if you guys were looking at those. And I might do another review on just the holster itself because I have another one as well for my G19. Um, but uh, this is my XDM. Hopefully you guys liked the the review on it. Uh, if you're thinking about purchasing one, go for it. You definitely won't regret it. I'm going to do another one on my G19, and then I'll do a, another video on the comparison of the two. I'll do them like side by side. Uh, so this is the review on my XDM. I hope you guys like it. And be safe. God bless. And I'm out. Enjoy. God bless you guys. Take care.